this story, and I, I wish I could could uh, source it um, because I've referenced it a few times. But years ago, there was a naked musical called called O Calcutta, and I remember hearing a story that somebody had found that after being on stage naked in front of an audience night after night, because this was a relatively successful musical, um, that the performers could not go back to normal life because they had become habituated to the excitement of being viewed by like hundreds, if not thousands of people. And so, um, you know, one possibility is, is that in your world, there is a permanent or semi-permanent brain shift that comes from experiencing a, a level of arousal and familiarity that the rest of us will never ever experience. I would say so to some extent, but even from me personally, to some extent, I feel like even quite the opposite has happened where um, now I like favor and desire more the more intimate one-on-one -on -one private sex life experience where it feels more emotionally involved. And I think that's also because I'm often working with people that maybe I don't know them very well right. or things like that. And there is always other people around. So the level of being able to drop your guard always and completely is very rare because there is a camera involved and we're creating a product in the end. And as much as like I can be enjoying myself, I still am put into literal positions that I can't always be enjoying myself because it's opening up for a camera or things right. like that. Well, and you're a professional after all. Yes, yes, exactly. And um, so I find even for myself that it's almost took, taken an opposite turn where I've now desire that less and less. And, and, and when I first started, that was one of my favorite things was the viewers, the voyeur aspect of there being multiple people in the room and enjoying the fact that there is a guy with a boomstick holding it up who's, you know, trying to not look, but definitely obviously wants to. Got it.